So today I'm gonna to tell you guys basically how I got to this point and how I was before I started doing these videos. And I'd like to take you back to about a year ago. Um, so let me just tell you a little background. I, I had a pretty nice job. Uh, I worked full time, uh, had a nice little place downtown. And you know, I got off of work one night and I was just kind of, I was kind of frustrated and, and just not in a good mood, you know, just frustrated. It was a long night at work. I was not in a good mood. I was thinking about just, you know, that I was pissed off that I had to walk home. It was cold. I was thinking about all these different things like, man, this sucks. And then as I'm walking home, just six blocks, I, I'm passing like a handful of homeless people. And, you know, I'm walking past them and then thinking about all these bad things like, oh, my life sucks and everything's just stupid and this is a dumb night and just all these thoughts, just thoughts. And so I was thinking all these bad thoughts and I'm walking past people that are homeless and they're sitting outside in the cold, you know, and they don't have a place to stay tonight. Like they're out there. That is their night. And so as I'm going past them and thinking about all these negatives of what I, of why I had done last night, I realized like, maybe I don't have it so bad. Like these people are outside in the cold and they don't have a place to stay tonight. And I'm, you know, walking past them thinking about all these other things when I could just be thinking like, I'm happy I got a place to go home. You know, I'm happy I have a home to go to tonight. So I remember posting about that on social media about a, a little more than a year ago and just posting about it like that was kind of interesting and and I started basically thinking more often about these things like you know at least I got a place to stay at least I have food and and just thinking of things that I'm happy about so I did some research and I kept basically doing daily gratitude you know I would it took two or three minutes a day. I'd take two or three minutes where, you know, I'm brushing my teeth or I'm washing my hair or something. In my head, I would think to myself, you know, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, this is going to be a good day. I'm, you know, I'm thankful that I have this. I'm happy I have a place to stay. Happy I have, you know, a bed to sleep on. Happy I have. And I would just name something and just think of a few things I was happy about. It took two minutes out of my day. Wasn't a big deal. You know, brushing my teeth and then, and I would, brush my teeth and I would watch myself as I was thinking those things, as I was thinking those thoughts of like, I'm happy I have this, I'm happy I have that and giving gratitude, just simply being thankful for what I have at this moment. It could be your arm, it could be, you know, your, your shoes, even if they're old shoes, like those could be the reason to be happy. So I would think of just a few things, simple, you know, and, and what happened in my head is I would brush my teeth and I would see myself like smiling and I'm like, what is going on? Like, why, why am I just thinking thoughts? And then all of a sudden I'm in a really good mood. Like just thinking of things that I'm grateful for puts me in this awesome mood. So I do some research and it's like, okay, this stuff, like it releases dopamine in your head when you write like a gratitude list or when you think of things that you are thankful for, it releases dopamine in your head. It's a chemical thing where you just like it happens no matter if you want it to or not you're going to feel good when you're when you're giving gratitude for what you have the thoughts that you think lead to the emotions that you have so that's when i realized what i just said like the thoughts that i have lead to the emotions that i have in that case i'm happy i'm gonna have a good day i'm gonna be smiling i'm gonna be in a good mood i'm gonna be content i'm gonna be thankful for what i have like ah you know really okay let's let's just think a bunch of good thoughts so as I was giving daily gratitude, I started to get really thankful and I just started kind of telling people like, hey, I, I give gratitude every day. I'm really in a good mood. So it became, it became a show. Like the more I gave gratitude, if I was doing it every day, I would be super happy. So it was a good way of just like, okay, let's put a camera on me for three minutes and I could just give gratitude. And that was the idea and you know it was called the thankful show so i started a youtube account uh started with the thankful show and due to uh a lot of other things the channel got deleted um i learned a lot about how to post stuff on youtube how to you know talk better and things to be thankful for and just you know i learned a lot about lighting and about the cameras and about all the different things that i that i needed to learn about and 
So I just got better and better. The channel got deleted. And, you know, after like a week or two, or two, I wasn't doing any gratitude. You know, after a week or two, I started kind of getting the worst mood. And I just remembered how happy I was when I was giving gratitude every day. When I was thankful for what I had, I was in a good mood. When I was thinking of the things I was happy about, I was in a good mood. If I... There's a lot of stuff that goes on in your life where you might not think of all the good things that are going on all the time. So it was a way for me to force myself to, to get on this camera, to have people know that I was going to do it. And that was what made me get on the camera and say, hey, I'm thankful for this. And when I did, it was like a switch in my head. It was like as soon as I started giving gratitude every day for a few minutes, a few minutes out of your whole entire day can change your whole entire day. Like... And what happened is it, the show got longer and longer. I started calling it Positive Vibes. And now you're watching it right this second. But <laughs> this was all just an idea of like, hey, I just want to do a daily gratitude show. And that is something that nobody, nobody that I know has done. I don't know of any YouTube channel that's doing this. I don't know of anybody who's doing anything like this. And since it makes me feel good, the show goes on, you know, and, and I'm inspired. I want to help people to realize that the things that they think about are how they feel. Like if you're thinking about something from a year ago that made you pissed off, that can get you pissed off today. You have all the reason to just say, you know what, I'm, I'm thankful for my TV. I'm thankful for my phone. Think of different things that we could be thankful for because those are going to lead to the good emotions that are going to make you have a good day, that's going to make you have a good life, that's going to make you optimistic about what's going on. What's up, Brad? Appreciate your comments. Um, so someone had asked, like, how did you get to this point? Like, do you have a before and after? That's exactly what happened. And the reason I started all these, you know, platforms and social media and all that was basically to show people this YouTube and to spread the message of positivity, of, of you know, kindness, of, of what we need in this world right now. You know, like, <laughs> we just need more peace and love and kindness and more people being thankful for what they have. Because I've noticed, you know, a lot of people um, can tell the, the difference in my mood. I always get that, like, you're optimistic. And it's like, I'm really just thankful. I mean... I force myself to be happy every day. Like I force myself to really, really tell myself it's going to be a nice day. I'm happy and I'm thankful and I'm going to smile and it's going to be a great day because I think that that leads to me having a great day. I really do. I really think that the things that we think lead to the actions we take and it leads to the emotions that we feel. And that's so important. That's so important. <laughs> Another thing I've, I've thought of since I've done this is, is really what the goal, what my goal is. What's, what is success to me? And I've realized <laughs> throughout the years that, that maybe money is not the goal. Maybe, maybe being in a content mood and being happy with what you have, being thankful for what we were given, being thankful for the blessings we have and the people we have, Maybe that's the reason that we should think positively for today. Maybe there's so much out there that we could think about. We can choose to think about what's good and what we appreciate and what is going to make us feel better. So that's my story. That's, that's what happened in my life that has changed me into what I am today. And... I really think like a year or two ago, my whole life was different. I thought of things a lot differently. So I want to remind you that you have no limits. You have no restrictions. You can pick up a camera today and start a show. You could pick up a pencil today and write a book. You could build whatever you'd like to. You could start a business tomorrow. I could have a, a website up tomorrow. We're in this beautiful time where we're blessed with this opportunity and the freedom to do anything we'd like. You know, you're free. You can do whatever you'd like today. Let's see. Mary M.K. It's so easy to get caught up in a moment 
that breaks your heart. Your story is very inspiring. That's very true. That's the thing that I'm not able to say very often. I really appreciate my positive vibes show to be 100% just like positivity. And that's what I try to do. So me telling this whole story is like what everybody else can relate to. Everybody knows how it feels to be like, I can't do that. I wouldn't succeed if I tried. You know, I'm in a bad mood. I'm, I'm sad. Everybody knows how that feels and it feels terrible. So that's not what I'm trying to push to people. I'm trying to, you know, spread positive vibes. But at the same time, that's how my life was. I used to have bad days, you know, like I would have a day and I would just think negatively about the day and it would ruin my entire day. And that's when I realized if I thought positively at the start of the day, it could improve my whole entire day. Crazy. Let's see. Uh, keep positive and always thankful for life. So true. So true. Um, a lot of things we could focus on, you know, and I think a lot of people will watch the news in the morning and wake up and just start their day with a lot of negative. And I, and I believe that, you know, if I were, I would rather watch this than the news, <laughs> straight up. I'd rather watch like, it's gonna be an awesome day, I'm happy, I'm in a good mood, we are gonna enjoy life, we're gonna be thankful, we're gonna be nice to other people, we're gonna start a positive movement, we're gonna be positive to the point where we're making other people positive, we're gonna be smiling so much, we're gonna make the world smile. And then it's just experience, if I'm doing this every day, and I start 300 days ago, you know what I mean? Like, you're gonna get better. If you were a musician, just starting right this second, right? You never played anything. I guarantee you in 100 days, you're gonna be playing songs. <laughs> Straight up, you're gonna be like, bah, 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 bah. okay? <laughs> you're gonna be making jams, and I encourage you to make jams. Whatever that means for you. Ha! <laughs> hope y'all have an awesome day. This is a great video. I'm gonna go release it. It's like days like this, you know, where I make this bomb video and it's like, yeah, that's off the turn. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> then like the next day I have to get up and be like, okay, new video. <laughs> it's like, oh man, that one's really good. Go watch that one. Uh, love you too. Appreciate you. Uh, a lot of it to me is getting toxic people away. Love them at a distance. That's another thing maybe I haven't talked about. Um, you know, I used to live with my, with my friends and had a lot of houses with uh, friends of mine. And basically, a year, maybe a year and a half ago, I guess a year, a year or two ago, I got this apartment, this apartment. <laughs> and um, I've been living by myself. So I've been a lot more into my thoughts of, you know, if I'm in a good mood, I'm in a good mood. I don't have those toxic people around me to possibly bring me down. So that's another thing, like, it's very important what I think and very important what I do for my own feelings because that's all that matters to me because I don't have that other person in my life to, to, to make my mood different. Reasons to be happy for everything. Like, if you're alone, you could just be happy that you ha don't have other people to, to uh, make your feelings bad. And I think, in the same way, you could say, I'm lonely, or, you know, like, and that would lead to that emotion, and, you know, the positive would lead to a positive emotion. It's so much more than, than thoughts. It's so much more than, it, it's, your, you know, it's how you feel. It's dope. Everything's just dope. I just talk and then dopeness comes out, but okay. <laughs> I'm really excited, but pleasure to tell my story. Truly appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much. Um, subscribe to the positive team if you haven't. We're making the world more positive. Let's get it. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.